Okay, so now we are in this next fight. Uh, this fight is a little bit of a bitch. It is also a very interesting fight. Uh, movement is hampered. Man, I'm really glad I gave that white ring to Don Hort. Uh, but, you know, we do have some new equipment on some characters. Median, in particular, has got that 45 attack now. Sheesh! Alright, so let's take a look at Grand Tax Advice. Uh, the width of the road. Uh, effective battle formation will be difficult. Yeah, because we start out on... A, there's a lot of sand in this fight. Uh, just like the last one. Oh, look at that map. Do you see that big black spot? Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Alright, uh... So, you know, certain characters like Campbell and Waltz are going to have very limited movement like usual. Uh, I do like the start of this fight. This will be good for when I'm grinding these lizard men standing here. Uh, they drop power axes quite a bit, so when I need money, I probably will get a lot of power axes. Uh, of course, you know, a bunch of fuckers here. But notice, huh, weird. There's not a lot to this fight, just looking at it. Just a bunch of scissor crabs, succubus, and lizard man. But I wonder what this very ominous black shadow is under the water. We'll never figure that out. Alright, anyway, let's go. Uh, let's get this shit started. I'm probably gonna get close to the end of this fight. Uh, and then at that point, we'll egress out of here. And, uh, that's when I'll begin the, you know, 25-hour month-long grinding session. To get everyone up to level 20 and then promote them. Now... I'm not actually going to, like, you know, like, remember when I promoted in Scenario 1, it was so deep into Scenario 1 that I actually promoted and then was able to get every character up to, like, level 8. Uh, there's gonna be none of that this time. Really, uh, this is about the ideal spot to promote in the game, so the enemies aren't gonna be giving us a ton of experience. You know, you could tell by Don Hort. You know, Don Hort had how many kills in the last fight? Oh, they don't even count? Oh, what? No. And he's got 14 experience. That seems off. That's really the only amount of experience he got was 14? I can't believe Don Hort's kills don't count. Is that a glitch? What the hell? Because Julian's count. I don't know. I get the feeling that Don Hort's kills will show up later on. For some reason, it's just not showing up now. But, uh, yeah, Don Hort barely got any experience from that last fight, so. Or maybe it's because, you know, Don Hort is, like, that AI-controlled character. Huh. But I know he can level up, can he? I vividly remember Don Hort leveling up before. Alright. Uh, I just want to get Median really out far in front so that he can draw in that succubus. That's very important to me right now. Uh, we'll have Synthesis do a little, uh, Blaze 1. Yeah, I don't want to use too much MP early in the fight. Because uh, we'll have some tougher enemies later on in this fight that we haven't yet seen in uh, Shining Forest 3 yet. <clears throat> Although, now that I think about it, the title of this video is going to give it away. So, <laughs> I just thought of that. Whatever. That's, it's fine. Uh, I won't mention it, though, until we actually get to... Uh, what happens? Oh, butterfly dance, bitch! Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Yeah! <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't very long. Yes, this is the Kraken fight. Uh, oh, and now more land is showing up. A uh, path for us to go through. Yeah, this fight can be a little difficult right now. Because of how low uh, our levels are, basically, you know, not being promoted yet, uh, can be a bit of a problem. Because, you know, you get such high stats from promoting. You know, like, 5 defense and 5 health to everyone, basically, is huge. Especially when so many characters get, are getting, like, really shit level. Damn it! I wasn't thinking, and I put Campbell right next to Median. Damn it. So now, uh, Campbell is probably gonna hit, uh, some of that Blaze too. That Median's gonna get hit with as well. Uh, so I definitely don't want to put Julian next to Campbell. Yep. That's alright. I can have a Rito heal Campbell. Better than her charming us, I suppose. That would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, that sure would suck. Yeah, I've got this no death run. She charms median and then median uses that 45 attack to like wipe out 
you know, David in one turn or, you know, Hedva one hit or quitter. That would really suck. Alright, so we'll have Arito go ahead and fix uh, Campbell. Give you some of that medical ninjutsu, bitch. Arito, a.k.a. Sakura. There you go, Campbell. Alright, so Lizardmen, yeah, Lizardmen just not really a threat at this point in time. Uh, alright. So, Median. The Succubus came for it enough that I don't have to worry about Median actually getting the kill. Uh, what I'm really worried about right now is I want to try and, like, have Median continue to be out in front so we can draw the tentacles towards him. Also, I'll probably split into two groups. Uh, one to the left, one to the right. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem because I could have Julian lead one and uh, Median lead the other. Okay, we'll uh, put Campbell right here. Go for the Succubus, of course. Gotta take her down. About half of her health, okay. I'm noticing too that the succubuses, they give the best experience. Okay, we'll uh Man, she has that attack boost. Oh, but you know, we'll just use her shuriken to uh take the oh not not the medical herb. Uh to take down this lizard man right here. I could have attacked the succubus too. Uh but I suppose Julian could take him out. You know, who knows? Alright, no weapon level yet. Yeah, Hazuki, she just gets so much done in Scenario 2 because she's so fast that she's always up at the front, uh, you know, taking shit down, you know, wrecking businesses and wrecking all these enemy bastards. Uh, even though her attack is kind of low at the moment because her weapon levels have been so low. Alright, and I guess we'll have Julian take out the other lizard man. And I'll start trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna uh, formulate our two parties. Because we do have exactly 12 party members. Uh, I should mention this, that uh, Don Hort doesn't really count as like an official party member. So if we get, like when we get another party member, we are gonna... Oh, wow. Okay. I, this is... Way sooner than I thought Zero was going to show up. Okay, cool. So here's Zero. Alright, well this just what I was talking about. Um, Don Hort doesn't count as an official party member. Zero comes back. Zero will be our 12th party member. Don Hort, while Don Hort is on the force, will actually have 13 party members. Okay, so Zero, remember, you know, we gave Zero back to the Symbios army. It's like, you know, thank you, Symbios, for helping us out, but we'll return your soldier to you now. Now, if you guys then remember, you know, Symbios and his army head back to the Republic, and then if you guys remember, immediately that battle with Garzel on the waterfall, that's the last fight of Chapter 3 in Scenario 1. Scenari uh, chapter 4 of Scenario 1 immediately begins. Remember, Khan was hesitant at first, like, walking away from Median and them, and then Khan talks to the party members and says, like, I should have given the Elvisum orb to Median because the Elvisum statue's destroyed, and, uh, the monsters are gonna be way stronger, the Bolsum monks are gonna be way stronger, Median is headed towards the Elvisum temple, so he's sh assuredly going to fight the Bolsum monks. So then Khan gives Zero the Elvisum orb, and then Zero asks Symbios' permission to go deliver it to Median, and Symbios and Dantares agree, and so then Zero flies back to Median with the Elvisum Orb. So, and then here we are, now Zero has returned to us. Alright, so go ahead, Zero. Fill us in. Alright, so, yep, uh, Symbios asked, you, asked him to come back. Okay, yeah, warn us, warn us. Go, go ahead. What? What is it? Okay, more pressing concern. You're headed to Elvisum, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's the problem here, Zero? Please, go ahead and stop leaving us in suspense, fucker. Something strange under the sea, you don't say! I wonder if the Kraken fucking tentacles have anything to do with it. Pa 
possibly. Okay, something really big. It's almost as big as my cock. <laughs> Jeez, Zero, that's a little vulgar. There's no other bird ladies for you to get down with. <laughs> All right, it's lying in wait for us. Yeah, but we're already aware it's the Kraken. We saw the Kraken tentacles. All right, so yeah, Zero's back on the force. Awesome. Now, I hope you guys aren't going to be foolish enough to think that Zero has permanently joined us yet. If you remember, I told you guys Zero doesn't permanently join the Force until, you know, deep, deep in the game, deep into Chapter 5. So, he's not a permanent member just yet. Okay. Oh, Zero, yeah, fly further away from us, you cocksucker. Alright, so here's the thing. So, oh, wow, he immediately gets a turn. Nice. Alright. So Zero's back on the forest. He's level 8. Here's what he had in his inventory before. You know, Zero's not actually doing too bad now that I look at him. Uh, we do have to be careful. I am so thankful that I gave Zero wings. That will help us out a lot in this fight. And notice Zero has the Elbasim Orb with him. That'll be important. Now, I am not actually sure what happens if I egress from this battle at this point. I would guess... That Zero will, you know, fly back into the battle at this point every single time. But I'll figure that out when I'm grinding. Um, and that's also why I gave Median that new wing, is so we can give that to Zero. Now, can I give the Elbasim Orb to Median? I can. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could. No, don't wanna I don't want Median to equip it. That's good. So Median has the Elbasim Orb. Because I'm going to be a little cautious about sending Zero over here later on. But we'll see. Because Zero will be promoted by then. Maybe I'll have Zero do it. Uh, and I'm going to have Median give that wing to Zero. He's got the Battle Bracer. I would prefer him to have a defense increasing accessory. But for now, I guess the Battle Bracer will have to do. Because there's like 10 people that I want to have defense increasing accessories. Um... And, of course, it's very important that I had Zero come over here. I do not want to have, you know, him exposed to uh, some of these stronger new enemies. Oh, look at that! His attack is going to be 32, defense 15. Very good. Yes, definitely equip that. Okay, cool. So now Zero is looking a lot better for us. And notice, of course, these fucking tentacles, man, these cracking legs, they have six move. They, they're able to move very fast. They have really good stats, holy shit. Their attack is 20 fucking 4. So they'll do at least 9 points of damage to Zero. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be tricky. Zero is also really powerful with that wing. I'm looking at that. His attack is 32? That's really high. Alright, so how should we split up our force? Uh, I guess we could have Median head to the right, and we'll have Julian head to the left. Um, and then we'll sort of figure it out from there. Uh, there's no reason to rush at all. Let's, uh, let's go through this nice and slow and easy. Because we don't want to kind of, you know, have the tentacles slip behind us and attack some of our, you know, more defenseless party members. That, that would not be good. Also, because, you know, we have a ninja from, like, basically early in the game here in Scenario 2... We're able to see just exactly how fucking useful they can be. Like, uh, that crit of hers is very, very helpful. Uh, okay, Rock can't hit that crab, actually. And yeah, see, everyone is, uh, really struggling back here. The movement is not great in this fight. Alright, and now our force... Our force is really strong now, though, because we've got Don Hort, who's promoted, and he's got that white ring, so he basically can't be touched. You know, we've got Julian, so we currently do have two heroes on our force. We have the main character of Scenario 3 and the main character of Scenario... Uh, what's it called? Also, Zero has no friendships with anybody. That's really, really hurtful. Alright, but let's take you out. Although, Zero's so fucking powerful, but he needs kills and experience. Alright, so you're done. How much is that gonna do? 12, eh. Whoa, 43. That's a lot of experience for him. Uh, I'm not going to worry about babying Zero in this fight to, like, get him kills and stuff, because 
you know, I am about to, you know, stop the fight and start grinding at a certain point. Um, I'll probably egress and get the fuck out of here sometime around when the Kraken head actually shows up. Yeah, let's come over here so hopefully the tentacle will go for median. Uh, cause I absolutely am not going to be battling the Kraken head, uh, before we promote. I mean, it's not, oh wow, okay, one. It's not like it's gonna be that tough or anything. And we should definitely be able to get through it with our no death run intact. But there's no reason for me to engage the Kraken head if I'm just gonna egress out anyway. Wow, 20. That's a good that's a good shot right there. Good damage. Okay, uh yeah, Waltz, get on that plank, because the uh, movement's a little better. Okay, Hazuki. Yeah, let's definitely focus on getting this tentacle down while we can. Uh, Hazuki, median, and zero attacking it should be enough to kill it, though. Wow, only ten, even with the friendship, huh? Maybe not. These Kraken tentacles are quite defensive. Oh, Don Hort's not moving, alright. Get rid of this crab, right? Okay, or not. Right, Rock will get rid of it. And then Rock also needs to be healed. Jeez. Rock doesn't have as, you know, big defense as you'd think. Like, you'd think that Rock, you know, would have, like, really good defense, but it's not, like, insane. Yeah, Rock <laughs> Rock is pretty fucking cool. I mean, he, when he laughs at the enemy's misery right as he's about to kill them, I mean, Jesus. A scary monster right here. All right, let's let's keep moving forward. Uh, Hedva, oh boy, that uh that tentacle, that tentacle's putting the fear in me. I'll tell you. All right, we'll have definitely have Julian head out there first to try and uh, lure it in. I don't think it wouldn't one shot zero, so I don't have to worry about that. As long as zero doesn't get double team. Oh come on. Zero, I really am disappointed that you missed, especially because I want you to start getting friendship, man. Alright, Arudo. Let's have him heal Rock, because uh, Rock has that little bit of damage. Alright, Median. Uh, we'll have Median remain there, and yeah, we'll attack with the dagger, that's fine. Build up the, uh, dagger experience. Might as well, since we're gonna promote in this fight anyway. Alright, so he is going for Median, though, that's fine. I mean, especially if he's only gonna do one point of damage, it's like, that's not really that helpful to your cause, Mr. Tentacle. Alright, Hazuki... Uh, Hazuki will do 10 to it, right? That's fine. Good, and then Zero looks like he'll kill it. Which I'm not waiting to get Zero kills, but it's nice that I'm actually going to. Um, alright, so let's see. Campbell. Yeah, Campbell's pretty strong. We'll get him to come over here. Uh, we'll have Synthesis go over here. Uh, Waltz, yeah, Waltz is, uh, having some trouble there. Alright, Rock. Uh, yeah, we'll have Rock. I'll have Rock come over this way. Uh, Hedva will come over this way. Ooh, I could ever kill the Tentacle, but I think I will have, uh, Zero do it. Okay, Julian, that should lure that Tentacle in. All right, and Zero can take you down. All right, that's probably going to be a level up. Ooh, partnership with Hazuki, good. Just give me attack, defense. No, defense, damn you. Yeah, I really would have preferred some defense there, Zero. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's... uh. 
Shit, I should have sent Rock to the left. We're gonna send David left then. Uh, Arudo. Is anyone hurt? I felt like I wanted to heal someone. But no, we're, we're all good. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll have Arudo go this way, I guess. Doesn't matter that much. Alright, I, I gotta imagine there's gonna be some more Kraken legs showing up here, so... I don't wanna, like... Even behind us, I don't really wanna let, you know, a character like Hedva or Zero kinda just be really unprotected here. Okay, so we'll have Centesis come up. Let's see, let's use a Spark. Let's see how much Spark will do. This will be our first time using Spark in Scenario 2. Oh, nice. She has a nice, uh, different dialogue there. Ooh, 22. Pretty good. Now I'll check and see how much Blaze 2 will do against them. Okay, Hazuki. Uh, Hazuki? Yeah, sure. We'll just move forward like that. That's fine. All right, Campbell can go here and attack you. Looks like we're actually going to be able to take this Kraken leg down with uh, limited trouble, which is good. Waltz, one day you'll catch up. Uh, Hedva, yeah, Hedva just needs to be behind Median at all times. Bernard will go to the left. I'll send Waltz to the right. All right, no fucking around. I'd love to use the knife, but I just want to kill this thing. Ah, I was hoping for, like, an afterburner or something. Okay, zero. Uh, yeah, we'll put zero right there. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for more tentacles to show up. Oh, you know what? We could have Arito do this. Why not? Might as well. Any kills, I can get my boy. He needs to look good for Synthesis. Remember, one of our goals is to help hook Arito up with Synthesis here. Also, those Kraken legs give 200 gold. That's a lot. Uh, as much as I'd love to just let this crab chill... For others to get the kill we're gonna attack it okay nice so not a one shot with the knife all right there's got to be more legs showing up that was very far forward no okay uh hazuki doesn't actually need that kill yeah because zero had the you know what now fuck it you gotta go bitch oh all right well Oh, here we go. Okay, so you're right there. And you're over there. That's not too bad. That's also not that bad. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. And more of the path will show up. Yeah, I'll probably go to that area where that uh, scissor crab is right here. This is probably where I'll uh, stop the fight until we're promoted and stuff. All right, uh, Synthesis, don't move too far forward. We need, like, Julian... Or, uh, what's his name to, uh, Julian or Campbell to bring them in. Uh, Rock? Yeah, Rock. Let's just get rid of this guy. No reason to leave him alive. Now, the legs are actually, they're able to move in more spaces than you'd think. I'm pretty sure the legs are able to move. Yeah, they are. Through this, uh, like, sandy area. Uh, Hedva... Man, Hedva, I don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> Hedva would be nearly one-shotted by one of these guys, so we gotta be careful about that. Uh, she is out of its range, though. Uh, let's get Zero, like, right there. Um, and Julian here can hopefully lure in this tentacle. Alright, and we'll get Median to go, like, right there. The tentacle will probably attack him. Yep, okay, cool. And uh, we can easily gangbang the tentacle, and it'll we could kill it in one turn. We have enough party members over here to do that. 